What does it mean by a laptop made for content creators? Is it for the performance or is it for the accurate colors? Well, those aren't difficult to achieve nowadays. What about some special features then? Yes, the ASUS DAO. This is a very good example of a content creator centric laptop because it is integrated with this new ASUS ProArt Studio Book 16 OLED H5600 and it aims to elevate your workflow. And as a video editor myself, I want to pose a question. Is the ASUS DAO actually feasible for video editing or is it just another gimmick? Let's find out because I edited a few videos using the ASUS DAO. So in this video, I won't talk about performance, specs, color accuracy, ports, upgradability, all of those jazz. If you want to watch that, then check out our full review of this laptop to get the full idea instead, which you can watch it at the top right corner there or down in the video description below. Okay, so a little introduction. The ASUS DAO, it's available in two different versions, either in the virtual version, which is found in some of the ASUS VivoBook Pro laptops now, and this is the physical one which is only exclusively available on the ProArt Studio Book 16. So the ASUS DAO, at first glance when I look at it, well, I opened up a web page, gave it a spin, and then I expected the web page to scroll up and down for me, but turns out that's not the case. So if I want to select certain features that the ASUS DAO should use, I need to press on this button here, the ASUS DAO, and then select what features do I want. So Vertical scroll is one of the options that I added in the ProArt Utility. So once I press that, then now I can do this scrolling. Anyway, once I got to know how the wheel behaves in terms of its software, we can see that the wheel has a few basic features at first glance. So we can make it to go to adjust our system volume. So that's simple to do. Don't know if you can see it. Let me move the utility down here. So you can see adjusting volume. Whoop. Yeah, adjusting volume and then we can also select the system brightness so we can do this to adjust the brightness instead. So this message here is because of OLED dimming. If you use it below somewhere around 50-60-ish percent of brightness then it will change to PWM dimming. You might realize some of that flickering on some screens. That is PWM dimming. If you make it go above 60% brightness then we'll go into DC dimming and that flickering is gone. So now we can head into the ProArt utility, which I'll show you some screenshots here for you to see properly. So we can do a few more things with the ASUS DAO here. So what I'm interested here is actually the integration with Adobe software. The four most common software here is Premiere Pro, Photoshop, After Effects, and Lightroom Classic. Surprisingly, there's no integration with Audition. So what this integration does is just give you a few more specific settings that you can do with the ASUS DAO. For example, brush size adjustment with the ASUS DAO on Photoshop, zoom in and out of the timeline on Premiere Pro, or change the contrast value in Lightroom Classic, all of those. As what we said in this video, we will only focus about video editing using the ASUS DAO on Premiere Pro because that's what I use and I'm here to share with you my experience. So I've taken a custom to Premiere Pro and I know how to navigate around. I know the keyboard combinations, I know what to do to get stuff done and I also have my own set of personalized keyboard shortcuts to make it, you know, suit me better. And I place most of the commonly used buttons like delete, all of those stuff onto this portion of the keyboard here. So my hand, my left hand can always stay here to get everything done for keyboard shortcuts and my right hand can move the mouse. And then I thought to myself, since I am already so accustomed to using an external mouse to edit videos, why do I need an ASUS DAO, right? So I immediately ditched the mouse and forced myself to edit videos only using this laptop itself without any external mouse. So that's the challenge for today. With my combination of keyboard shortcuts, the ASUS DAO and my left thumb on the ASUS DAO here and my right hand on the trackpad, well, I actually can edit some videos, simpler ones, and that is kind of surprising to me too, actually. Now, how I edit videos is, my workflow is kind of weird, so I do multiple passes. The first pass is to just cut away all the fluff, the problematic parts, 
add some markers, rearrange some parts of the videos if necessary, and that's the first pass. The second pass is where I add effects and also B-rolls. So, because of my workflow, I use the ASUS DAO in only two modes. The first one is in vertical scrolling mode because I use the scroll wheel a lot, hence I do kill my mouse scroll wheel a lot. So zooming in the timeline and whatnot, nah, I don't use those features on the ASUS DAO. I would rather hold alternate key and spin the ASUS DAO in vertical scrolling mode to adjust my timelines, zoom in and out. And then to adjust the height or scrolling my audio track, for example, I would rather just hold control key and spin the ASUS wheel, ASUS DAO in vertical scrolling mode as well. And of course, I only use the ASUS down in this way because I have already been accustomed to how Premiere Pro works. And if I'm using an external mouse, that is how I do it. So that's how I use the ASUS down. But one specific feature on the ASUS down that I think I will use is the play hit adjustment. I don't know if that's what you call it. So in Premiere Pro, you have a play hit whereby wherever the hit is pointing is where you start playing. So that is where this ASUS DAO comes in handy because I can make a lot of tiny, fine adjustments by just using it in that play hit adjustment mode. Twist the wheel a little bit and then I can get it to where I want exactly. So good job on that, I guess. With that said though, I personally only use the ASUS DAO to edit simple videos like the Edifier D12 that you can watch at the top right corner there, for example. It's a simple video and I don't mind doing that on this laptop because it's not complicated, it's really simple. And that also poses another question. Can I edit simple videos on battery? And that's exactly what I did. I ripped out the power supply and then continue editing that video on battery only. Again, for simpler videos, the ProArt StudioBook 16 OLED handled it just fine. The battery life though, it suffered the most because it only lasts for about 2 hours with Premiere Pro open and that's kind of expected, I guess. So, in conclusion then, to answer back the original question posed at the beginning of this video, is the ASUS DAO actually feasible for video editing or is it just another gimmick? It depends on your workflow really. For my workflow, as what we've shown here, I think the ASUS DAO does help for when I'm on the go or something like that and I just want to make some cuts to my video or simple edits, then yes, the ASUS DAO is feasible. I treat the ASUS DAO somewhat as an alternative to an external mouse if there's not enough space, so there you go. Because technically, I am treating the ASUS DAO kind of like a mouse scroll wheel. So yeah, there you have it. That's my experience using the ASUS DAO to edit videos. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comment section below. And if you want to watch the full review of this video, I'll have links everywhere. And we'll see you guys in the next video. <laughs> wee 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 wee.